Hi, this is the green season. The green season is the one that's used the most, a long time. So this is the one I have built lots of variety in into the altar pieces, but we're not gonna focus on those as we talk about this. But in terms of variety, I also even built variety into the stole. So this side of the stole is a lighter, brighter green, and clearly it's about growing things. We have the seed sprouting, and then the vine comes up. So this is wonderful as we start our summer with green. But again, need more variety. And so on this side, which is the side that also works for Epiphany, we have a darker green with a star over the hills, and there's that little sheep. So because you are um, shepherd of the hills, I couldn't possibly not use sheep. And this is a sheep design that I developed many years ago, and I call it my go-your-own-way sheep. They like to go their own way. They do, <laughs> and that is why we need a good shepherd. And the Celtic cross is back here again with the center in the shepherd fabric. The green uh, wall hangings feature, surprise, surprise, the hills up there, the shepherd fabric, and go your own way sheep. Now, have you noticed, because you hang the wall hangings, there's different number of sheep and they're in different places? Yeah, we always wonder why, if there was a purpose of where the sheep were. Mostly to keep your eye moving through the room, but not like, oh, these are the sheep that are going the wrong direction and those are the wayward sheep. You know, we could think they're both going to come and move in the middle. I think everybody could make up their own stories about the sheep. I also developed a different symbol that's shown here at the um, hemline. So we start out with one, well, actually, it's three pieces together. You can't tell it. So it looks like one yarn, and it goes through the triangle, which is a symbol of the Trinity, and it comes out in seven different expressions and goes out into the world. Or it's seven different expressions from the world come together in the Trinity and come out united. So it's just a different kind of journey than the one we saw in the Linton one. So I'd like to talk a little bit about why you have these wall hangings. Did you know your congregation didn't really want these to begin with? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so they thought that, first of all, they were unnecessary. And your congregation is very concerned about using their resources in the best way possible. So that was a, a realistic concern. Then there was concern, since they were going to hang on these columns, we didn't want to put any holes in the wood. But creative people, I believe you were the one, found a great solution that avoided that problem, and they're easy to hang. Then the other concern was that people would touch them and get them dirty. So I said, well, what's the worst thing that would happen if someone touched it? And that would be they might get dirty. And then I'm going, well then, what would you do? You can always get them clean. You could get the them clean. Is we can put them in the washing machine. Yes, I made them washable. So everything was washed. I did lots of washing getting ready for you all. What a wonderful thing to do. So I do like the fact that the hills are there, the sheep are there, the message of traveling through the world in different parts, coming together and coming out whole, and that you can touch these. I also like the fact that you're thinking about how you can use these in different ways. So this year you did try something different. What did you do, Leanne? This year I, each, um, the first few Sundays of Pentecost, I put up, I started with one, uh, or Just, two banners. One, so one on each one side. On each side. And then the next week I put two on each side and then three. So I marched the sheep in. So and are you going to march them I'll out? I'll march them out this year, too. Okay. Uh, that would be lots of fun, at least for me. I don't know if anybody else will notice. But I'm going to guess people notice, but you might not necessarily hear. Yeah, but not. have you ever thought about putting green only on one side and not the other side? Lots of fun. I just, do you I'm think, not sure people are ready for that. Do you but. think people would <laughs> want to sit on the green side then? Well, they already have their seats pretty much set. So well, yes. 
We could, we could play with Can you make art move people? That would be the question. 